Okay, I'm going to do a quick video on how to integrate a WoW slider into your iWeb website. So let's get started. I'm assuming that you've already downloaded WoW slider from their website. And I'm going to drag in a couple images here that I already have. So I'm going to click on settings. can call this demo slider. That is 960 by 300 is the size of my images. And I'm going to go with just the basic slider. And then I'm not going to change any of this, but this changes the style of the slider, what it, what the appearance is, what it looks like. And then I'm going to click on publish. I'm going to publish this to a folder here on my desktop. And I don't want it to be this one, so I'm going to pick a folder. And then tell it desktop. Choose. Don't want that there. Desktop. Choose. And I'm actually giving you my desktop. There we go. Desktop. If you have more than one of these WoW sliders on a page, that's what the slider ID is. So if you have like three or four different sliders on there, you would want to change them so they're not all the same ID. And now I'm going to publish. And now we have this nice little slider. You can skip through with the arrows or you can also skip through via the, the button up at the top. So now that we have a slider, I can close this. I'm going to close out a WoW slider because that's all we had to do in WoW slider. I'm going to quit WoW slider. It's going to ask me if I want to save. I'm not going to save this one, but if you're working on a project, you can save that. And now on the desktop, I get a folder that's engine folder that's data and then I get this index file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this demo slider. I'm going to put these three items into that folder. You know, there's those three items in there. Now I'm just going to upload that to my web host. I use IX web hosting, they're, they're pretty good. They have great customer service. So I'm gonna take demo slider that we just created. I'm gonna drag this on over here. Continue, continue. That's uploading our slideshow. This is a step that you have to do before you can put it into iWeb. Now, I'm going to open up Safari. I'm going to go to my website. Maybe. I'm going to go to my website. And then the backsplash is actually telling 
it to look in a certain folder, and the folder that we just created is called Demo Slider. So if I do the backslash Demo Slider, here's our slider. Now if I right click, I get this little drop down menu, or you can go View, my quick time's in my way. I can go View, Source. And this is the code that we're going to put into iWeb. Now there's one other thing that we're going to want to do to this code. So I'm, I just selected all that text. You can Command A, Command C, and that'll copy that. I'm going to come over here into Text Edit. I'm going to paste that because now we need to tell iWeb where to look for these images. So, That's why it's not letting me paste anything in there. So what I'm doing now is adding the address in front of these pieces so iWeb knows where to look for the information. So I did that here at the relative length, engine one, engine one jQuery. And I'm going to do that for the images here. And then this is for the little uh, images up at the top. And that's just in between the quotation mark and the data one tooltip. So now I'm going to select all that text and copy that. And I'm going to come over here into iWeb. And I'm going to click on widgets. And I'm going to drag in an HTML snippet. And then I'm going to paste that code and click apply. So once you paste that code into the HTML snippet, uh, it should start working right away. That's how you know that you got the code in there correctly. And you know, to actually interact with it in my web, you have to double click on it to where you get the blue line around it. But then you can actually use the arrows to skip through, or you can skip through with the bullets up above to move through. So now that I see that that is working correctly, I'm going to. Move the recording out of the way. I'm going to publish site changes, which is just that one page. Okay. And now all that's left is to upload that page that we just changed. I'm going to come to where I've just published that site because I published that to a folder on my computer. Oh, oops, wrong folder. Helps to look in the right folder. Publish sites. Just 
Počkej. We should now have wow slider. If I select those two, I can simply just drag those two over onto my server and it'll upload. That is finished uploading. Let me come back into Safari. Go to my website. Add that wow slider, which was that page that we just created. And then if I go to that web page, we can now see that that is working. We can scroll through. Or we can use the bolts up at the top. And that is how you insert a WOW slider into iWeb. Uh, thanks for watching.